Okay, today I have some a couple a pair of uh, hair straighteners here that I got from Goodwill for about four bucks a piece. I'm gonna be disassembling these and making a handheld rosin press with a vice grip that I got from Menards. This one right here, Master Force. There's actually a lifetime warranty on these, so if it breaks, I plan on bringing it back and getting a new one. All right, so I am going to. Take these apart, and I'll be right back. Just a quick note, if you guys are uh, disassembling uh, straight iron and trying to do, make a rosin press as well, some of them have a screw right here at the pivoting point. This one actually has like a plastic pen. And almost done. Probably about five, ten more minutes and I'll be completely taken apart all right so another problem I came into is uh, I wanted to take off the ends like this part right here you see you see where the power cord attaches to the hot plates or the wires and then the hot plates so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Put this back on. How it goes? Okay, it goes like this. Bear with me for a second. All right. So, and this piece sits right on top of it. Motherfucker. Okay, let's try it this way. Alright. <clears throat> so I got it on. Let's focus it real quick. Alright, so what I'm going to be doing is I'll be putting those screws back in there so I can hold it and I don't have to worry about it disconnecting from here and then I'll, I'll be cutting all of this right above the screws off with an angled uh, pliers and an end snipper if I'm not able to cut through this thick plastic so I'll be back and I'll show you what I've done <laughs> okay so I finally finished this is what it looks like. The part that I had the hardest time was what, with was the pivoting point right here. Uh, this wasn't attached to the power cord. Well, these little tiny cords weren't attached to the power cord. They had that little plug-in. I don't know if you can see it here. Let's see if I can focus in on it real quick. It's right in... Right inside there see it, the light shining on it right now it's that silver piece it's, a, it's like three different pieces making one connector I didn't like it but this is what I got to do to make what I make the rosin gun work that I'm gonna be making so this is the first one got the on off switch on off turbo has indicator lights nice little touch it's pink <laughs> This is the first one that I disassembled. It's a bit longer. This is a, looks like about a 2x4, 2x3. This is probably 2x4 right here. 2 inches wide by 4 inches long. I kept the dial for all of them, or for both of them, so I can at least gauge how the temperature is. And that's about it. This is all the junk I got left over from breaking it apart. I got a bunch of little pieces in there. I would recommend having like a Dremel if you have one to take these apart. At least for the back piece if the connectors are like the ones that I got. So you could 
trim all this down and make it not so bulky and ugly I would take a dremel to like about all this right here so about like a quarter inch half inch all the way around make it nice and smooth this one's not too bad probably can just electrical tape it or something this piece was really thick this is where a dremel would come in handy but that's about it so i'm going to be making another video on putting those uh, rosin presses that i'm going to be making together see you then